Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of the Nottingham Forest career mode. In the last episode, we were pretty successful. We managed to get through round of 16 of the Europa League. We beat Napoli over two legs and we are now into the quarterfinals where we will meet Porto. However, in this episode, we have Spurs at home in the league. We then have City away and then Swansea away. So three games coming up. And also, talking of the Premier League, guys, spoiler alert, by the way, if you don't want to know the result of the Arsenal-Manchester United game, just skip forward 10 seconds here. But Arsenal beat Man United, and I'm so pumped about it, even though it's too late. It's just nice to get a win over Man United. It's nice to get a win in general, to be honest, as an Arsenal fan right now. So hopefully, I'm not going to finish this episode and be angry at myself for not winning any games, because Tottenham, Man City, Swansea, they're all pretty tough games. So let's jump into the first one home against Spurs. I just saw in the cutscene there that Spurs have both Lukaku and Sturridge on the bench. So I've gone with my first team. It seems that maybe Spurs haven't. So we'll take a look. I mean, my first team is fully fit, so it'd be mad not to against Spurs. They are in fifth place, so they're not doing too badly this season. But wait, what? They've still got Harry Kane? I thought they sold Harry Kane. They always do in career mode. But they can, I can confirm, look, Sturridge, Lukaku as well. I mean, that's pretty crazy that they've got Harry Kane on the pitch with Lukaku and Sturridge on the bench. I mean, they've got some serious firepower there. Obviously, they do have Henderson, which is a pretty decent signing for them in the midfield, I guess. But Deli Ali and Harry Kane, they are going to be dangerous. Here is Abraham. Oh, Geraldus has made a run. Look at that, he's in. He's actually gone in behind Tottenham already. Can you finish it though? No, rebound. Oh, Wanyama was in the right place at the right time there. I think we're in again here. Look at this, Ariubi in space. Pass it back to Geraldes, he's in. Go on. Oh, again, it's saved by Lloris. This time he parries it to a teammate. We have made a really good start though. It could easily be 2-0. Now here come Tottenham, Eriksen over to Deli Ali. we've got Tuan Zebe chasing him down. Oh, he's missed the tackle. Come on, get rid of that, please. I don't like it with Harry Kane running around there. I just, if he gets the ball in a good position, he'll score, no doubt. Just a couple of minutes to go until half-time. I want to get another chance out of this, and here we go. It's Abraham versus Alderweireld. Pass it in for Geraldes again. Finesse it, maybe. Oh, man, that deserved to go in. It's a really nice shot, but it's just wide. And by the way, look at the possession. We are getting dominated by Tottenham at the moment, but they've barely had any chances. And we're going in at the break, nil-nil. I really do deserve to be winning this game, I think, even though they have had more passing accuracy, more possession. It's all about goals scored, and I know I haven't scored any, but I've definitely come closest. Lots of space here for Dalbert. Try and put that through for Larson. Now maybe get a cross in. Oh, hang on. Abraham's in. And yeah... So they've just taken off Kane and they've brought on Lukaku. Okay, so they're throwing the dice a little bit, trying a different striker. And they're going to be penetrated here. Come on. Come on, Abraham. Score it. Oh, do you know what? Oh, do you know what? I, I, oh, I don't even know what to say. Maybe it is me. Maybe it's me just not being able to finish right now. But Abraham just... Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, no. Lukaku, he's in the open. No. Oh, my God. Medjurini. What a save that is. I think I had a defender there injured, so he wasn't offside. It's Pereira. No, don't be injured, Pereira. That would be bad news. Luckily, Bejarini punches away the corner. Would have been nice if we could have picked that up with Abraham, but they're going to get another cross in here. No, 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 no. Deli Ali has scored with, what, five minutes to go? Damn it. No, ten minutes to go. Okay, it's not too bad. Very frustrating to concede late on, but ten minutes is okay. We can, we can come back from this. Win that header. Yes, well done. It doesn't matter if he didn't win the header, as long as we've got possession. Now here's Garcia. He's still going here. Pass that inside here to Dalbert. What's he doing now? I don't know, but over to Galdemez now. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I've got no space. I was going to pass it across, but here's Garcia now. Give that to Abraham. Please, Abraham. Now's your time. Oh, okay. Blocked. This is going to be our last chance, guys. This is it. We've got to score this. I can't let Tottenham beat us. Come on. Please, someone get on the end of this, please. Oh, hang on. No. Are you kidding me? He went through him. He practically didn't even try to take that ball down. Oh, my God. That is pff, that is something else. And that's going to be it, isn't it? We're not going to get another chance. The referee's going to end the game here. Damn it. What the hell, Galdemez? The ball was right there. And it looks like Tottenham think they've won the league. <laughs> All their players running on the pitch. Okay, fair enough. We've lost the game 1-0. Maybe wasn't the deserved result, but I didn't score. It's as simple as that. 
All I can hope for now is Pereira isn't injured. It would be really, really bad if he's out for a long time. Let's just double check that. We have got two emails. And okay, it looks like we're okay. Yeah, look at that. Pereira, he's just talking about playing. He's happy that he's been played and that he's not injured, which is good. We're going to do some training now before the City game. Hopefully, the Danny Alves regen, which I'm no longer going to call him that. We're going to call him Orsi because that's his name. He isn't going to hit 77 just yet. Medjurini getting closer to 82. Okay, that's good. A little bit of progress there in the training. But Man City up next. And look at that. Spurs have broken into the top three after that win. But we do have that game in hand. We can go to 65 points. So we can still be 10 points clear, which would be amazing with eight games to go. All we've got to do is beat Man City. And they are down in 11th. So because this game is so soon after the Tottenham game, a lot of players here are a little bit tired. So I might actually just go ahead and try with the second team today. So my first team is fully fit for the Swansea game. Hopefully this is enough. I mean, you look at this team, it's still relatively strong. So do you know what? I'm going to go for it. Let's see if we can do it with the second team. So let's take a look at the team that Pep Guardiola is fielding. Hopefully they've got a couple of their big players missing because that would make things just that little bit tougher. I can see Joe Hart there is going to be their goalkeeper they've got. Okay, interesting. Coleman, Jimenez, Mangala and Kolarov at the back. But they do have De Bruyne. They do have, I think I saw, uh, oh, what's his name? Gundogan. I think I saw Gundogan in there. So, yeah, he is playing. So that's going to make things a little bit more difficult. The fact they've got such a creative midfield. But it's okay. Jesus up front is the main man. And last time we played Man City... We managed to keep him pretty quiet, so hopefully we can do that again today and get the three points, get ten points clear. Here is Krunic. I haven't really used him much this season, but every time I have used him, I've been very impressed. His Luna will switch the play over to Saliba into Ayub. We're going to turn backwards here. Try and find a pass inside. That's worked. Here's Schick. Try a shot, maybe. Oh, he was slightly off balance, I think, and the ball just seemed to bounce up as he hit it. We'll try and find a pass, I think. Actually, Barmin's made a good run. Why are you sliding on the floor like that? Oh, it has to be the worst animation in this game. But luckily, Van Dronglen's going to be there. Let's go again. Turn back here with Ayub. Over the top for Schick, maybe. What a ball that is, and we're in. Simple as that. Come on, Saliba, you've got to finish. Yes, gets in there. Brilliant finish on his left foot. That's one of the best things about having a winger with his strong foot, the opposite foot of the wing he's playing on, if that makes sense. I've got a right midfielder that's left-footed just for this reason. He can cut in, use that left foot. Joe Hart was nowhere near to saving that. Beautiful passing as well to set up the goal. Really pleased with that. And we've got what we couldn't get against Tottenham in the first 35 minutes, a goal. Now here's Ayub. We'll play that through for Krunic. He's had a, actually had a very good first half so far. That's a lovely bit of skill. Might continue the run here. He's going to hit it. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to work on his shooting a little bit in training because actually I'm really enjoying using him in this game. He seems to be a really good midfielder. It's a shame he only makes it to the second team because I think he's 76 rated. But maybe I should be using some of these second team players a little bit more because they're all doing really well today. Here is Krunic inside to Ayub. Through for Schick maybe. He should get there. He has got there. Can he finish it? No, Joe Hart just about gets a touch on it. Oh, he's mad. He is mad at the defence for letting him through there. But anyway, it's a corner. And it's a good delivery. Oh, come on. Saliba hit that. Oh, that would have been a spectacular goal if that went in the top right corner. Just a couple of minutes to go and I will have a 10-point lead. That is all I'm thinking about right now. And now here goes Luna. He's not going to get past him, I don't think. Oh, he's been taken down. That's a yellow card. For Otamendi and a free kick in a relatively good position, I would say. We might be able to get something going from here. Maybe we can get Ayub on it. Let's see if we can change the view a little bit. I don't think Platter's going to be the right player. Although, he's very short, so we don't really need him in the box. Let's see if, let's see if we can just get a good delivery in. And it's Barm in there. Oh, I tell you what, it wasn't awful. We're going to get a corner. And this will be probably the last bit of action in this game. Ayub to cross it in. Luna was there. Oh, no. It's come straight out for uh, De Bruyne. I need to win this. Oh, God. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble here, guys. This is going to be it. I need to make a tackle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make a tackle. Yes, Krunic. Wait, what? Oh, he's given a free kick. Wow. So this is it. To go 10 points clear, I must not concede here. Please get that out. Right, I think that's okay. Blow the, ref, blow the whistle, ref. Come on. No. Oh, my God. They're going to get a corner. 
This is the longest three minutes in a FIFA game in ages. What the hell is going on right now? Let's get this out, please, guys. Clear it. Clear it. Yes, Van Dronglen. That should be it. Surely that's going to be it as soon as he touches it. Blow the whistle, ref. Thank you. Right. Ten points clear, guys. Couldn't ask for more. It wasn't the best game ever, but we got the win. But we must not stop there. If we can get another three points here, that is a huge step in the right direction to winning the Premier League. So that is absolutely vital that we get another three points. We can do it. I've had to field another relatively weaker team today. We've got players like Kalecha coming in. We've got Osborne coming in. We've got Cash coming in. We've even got Clough playing up front. So not our strongest team, but definitely strong enough to get a win against Swansea, who are mid-table. Oh, wow. What a great start to the game, just passing it to no one. Luckily, we've got it straight back. Here is Cash, his first appearance in a long, long time. And it's kind of upsetting a little bit because he was such he was one of our main players basically he was such a good player for us in the first few seasons but since then obviously we've invested in other players that are just simply better so it's just the harsh reality of doing a road to glory I guess you replace the uh, original players but we're doing well here Let's see if we can get a cross in oh okay maybe not here is Galdemez we'll pass that inside flick it maybe yes now over the top oh that is beautiful surely it's another goal for Galdemez no my finishing. Maybe it is. Maybe it's me, guys. My finishing is just not good enough. Maybe I should stop blaming the players. But anyway, we've got another chance here, potentially. Pass that inside. Here's Clough. Back to Geraldes. Nope, it was a poor pass back. And there is half time. So once again, we're going at the break. Nil, nil with a Premier League team. It seems to happen too often. Yet, I've had chances. So hopefully in this second half, we can actually put one away. Oh, that's a good tackle from Osborne straight away in the second half. We should be in here. We'll pass it across to Clough. No! That was a triple tap cross. It should have gone to him, but the defender did actually really well to get back. Here we go again, though. I see Cash making a run. That's a lovely ball. Surely this time. Please finish it. Oh, his touch just let him down. And once again, the defender gets back just in time. Put that through for Geraldes. Come on, someone's got to make a run. That's it. That's what we needed. Back into the box. Clough's got to score. No. Fabianski, ju oh, just leave me alone, would you, mate? Honestly, come on, three minutes left to go. Come on, Dalbert, let's see if we can get a cross in. It's not bad. Gerald is there. No, that might be it, guys. I think we're actually going to draw nil-nil with Swansea, which is not a particularly great result for us. There's still three minutes. Maybe I can win the ball back. Oh, almost bounced to me. That's the kind of luck I needed there. But I think the referee is just going to end it, which is a little bit disappointing because... Although it wasn't the greatest game I've ever had, we've had some very good chances to score. And just once again, my, my finishing has let us down. Oh, wow. We got very, very lucky, though. Crystal Palace have actually lost their last game. So they look increasingly close to Spurs and Arsenal after dropping a few points recently. And obviously, we have managed to climb ahead just that little bit more. 11 points clear now with just seven games to go. So with 21 points available, I think if we can get maybe just 12 of those points, we're, we're going to win the league. So at the moment, we're looking like we're in a very good position. But of course, in the next episode, it's all about the Europa League. We have Porto coming up in the quarterfinals. So we will see how that one goes. It's going to be tough. In the other legs, we've got uh, Villarreal and Ajax. We've got St. Etienne and RB Leipzig, Roma and Feyenoord. So yeah, some tough teams left in this competition. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of the support on these videos. So make sure you drop a like if you do enjoy it. Leave your comments below as well and I'll read through them. And I will see you next time.